very much. Uh, as all of you know, I was a candidate in the February uh, primary, got over 105,000 votes, uh, did probably expended the least amount of money, uh, ended up with about 70 cents for every vote uh, uh, that I got. And I, as uh, uh, Representative Duncan said, I checked with the boss this morning and she said, yes, she was voting for our Turner. So uh, I'm happy to announce, I think I, I have announced to many people that I was um, uh, supporting Art. Uh, and I did it for a couple reasons. Um, one very, very strong reason. Uh, and I feel passionate about this, and that is that the person chosen to be lieutenant governor should be somebody that actually was in the contest, that went through the process of gathering 10,000 signatures, as both Art and I did, uh, who traveled the state extensively, as both Art and I did. Uh, and in fact, in one of the early uh, uh, events, um, um, in a, um, uh, 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 Shelbyville, uh, Illinois in the, in the South, uh, my wife and I were talking to, uh, Art's wife and we said, well, if we didn't win, we wanted you, we wanted Art to win. Uh, and, uh, he's been a friend of mine, uh, for a long time, but I want to emphasize that how really crucial it is to me that it's somebody who went through that process. Because one thing I learned in my contest was that, um, you know, running in a district of 105,000 people is a whole lot different than running in 102 counties and over 12 million people uh, to try to get to in some, some fashion. Uh, and so to me, that's a very crucial thing. Now, obviously, if both Art and I are in this thing then, and we both had done this, there's only really room for one. You can only have one, otherwise you're going to split the vote of those uh, folks on the Central Committee that believe, uh, as I and my wife very strongly believe, that it should be somebody who was in the battle uh, themselves, that went through that tough process, and that gained the support of a huge number of people. Uh, and when you think about this, uh, and this was, again, part of it, part of my reason is that, to me, it's almost an insult to the hundreds of thousands yes. of people who went out in that cold February day to vote in that primary to all of a sudden just say, oh, well, none of you who ran in that matter. Uh, you know, uh, instead, we're going to just pick somebody out of the blue, you know, uh, Joe Blow from wherever uh, or S Sally Blow from wherever, whatever the the, the situation is. Uh, so to me, that was very, very crucial. Then also, there was a personal reason. Um, Art and I have been friends uh, ever since I got to this chamber 16 years ago, and, and I didn't know he was here as long as Representative Duncan said 30 years. Anybody who's here 30 years, they deserve sainthood or something, or lieutenant <laughs> governor. They deserve something, because anybody who can uh, uh, go through this for 30 years, uh, you really are something. Uh, but the other reason uh, was, as I said, personal, uh, a personal friendship and an event that happened uh, to me way back in the early Bogoyevich years. Uh, I was one of the few people that was opposing uh, Governor Bogoyevich and his uh, drive to have a number of fee increases on trucking and, and some other things. And in the only time in 16 years, I was actually cussed at on the floor of the House of Representatives, and I was uh, kind of viciously being yelled at and so forth. And Art Turner came over to me, and he said, I don't care what they say about you, you're still my friend. And I've never forgotten that. To me, it showed a great deal of character, and it showed a great deal of courage to uh, stand up like that. And, uh, and so, uh, to me... I think that's something we need in the political system is uh, uh, more courage and more character. And so uh, I decided to uh, endorse uh, Art and uh, uh, try to help make him uh, the next uh, lieutenant governor.